good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Brothers, I just want you to watch as you guys get rich. And some of you brothers are gonna get very rich. Some of y'all are gonna stay broke, unfortunately, because you don't wanna invest in you're doing those little shady deals in front of liquor stores. But a, a lot of you black men are gonna figure it out. The chances are in your favor, all right? Before AI take over, you know, people still need people to do actual things. And you have every opportunity right now to do that. You have every opportunity to make money, to make relationships, to build your wealth. And you have the best chance right now to do that than ever before in today's world. Today's world, I'm talking to you from Uganda. I could have never experienced or never thought I would be able to survive, make a career in Africa while talking to the brothers in America over the internet. But anything is possible when you work hard and invest into yourself. The problem is the issues you're gonna come across once you attain said wealth. And that's more of the things that I wanna talk about because so many black men are just not not ready for that and of course when you are um, it depends on your age and maturity level when you don't have money for a while and you've worked hard it's like okay look it's my time to shine it's my time to let everybody know that i'm in the game and you negroes need to pay homage because you know y'all been sleeping on me and bow here go the maybach bow here go the corvette bow here go this here go that i mean i I, don't, I haven't bought a new car in like about 12 years so i don't even know what kind of car to buy but you guys get what i'm saying right you arrived here's what you just don't know groupies are thirstier than ever before and who does that hurt it hurts a negro like you okay i'm gonna explain why because now what they have fellas is they can get you back on stuff that's like 15 decades ago they can sue you for something that your ancestors damn near did that's pretty much what you're probably gonna find out you know they're gonna probably be able to say listen 300 years ago your great 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 Granddaddy Ubuntu touched my auntie's kneecap somewhere in Western Nigeria on the slave ship. And I think you owe me a hundred million dollars. I know it sounds stupid, but hey, it might be able to happen. And this is what's happening to Devante. Devante Swing, if you guys know, you had two brothers in Jodeci, right? Casey and Jojo, Dalvin and Devante. Devante, I believe was um, responsible for making most of the beats. You know, he wasn't really much of a singer like Casey and Jojo. The, you guys remember the, oh yeah. Yeah, I used to love that. The baby, I got the strangest villain. Remember that? Needs to have them interludes. You're like, why was it just making the whole song, man? Maybe you got the strangest. <laughs> Really? I, I, why don't they just make the baby I got the strangest feeling the whole song, man? Instead of them inter the 90s was like that. All the good interludes should have been songs. Jodeci, Mary J, Faith Evans. Y'all was y'all had 112. You are the only one for me. Why wasn't that a god dang song, Diddy? And did and Diddy produce see Diddy came up with these fire interludes and y'all will see y'all playing with me. Many of us are still waiting for y'all to finish that baby I got the strangest feeling into a full song. That's real Jodeci fans is mad about that. But let me continue. Let me continue. I don't want to get mad. I don't want to I want to get my blood pressure up. Devonte Swing allegedly raped a teenager with Diddy. You guys remember guy Teddy Riley, Aaron Hall. <sighs> Aaron Hall. I don't even want to get on him right now. Shout out to Aaron Hall. That's my boy. They said basically they was at an office in 1990. She was 17. This dude took the cheeks while Puffy P. Diddy was doing something to Lisa Gardner. Devante is accused of aiding and abetting the alleged abuse. Now this was 34 years ago. In 1990, I believe like Shannon Sharp had just came into the NFL 1990. I believe I don't even know who won the NBA title in 1990. It would have had to be the Pistons or somebody like that. Who who won the NBA finals in 1990? It must have been Detroit because the Lakers won 88, 89. And it had to be Detroit because, you know, Chicago started winning in the early night, late 90s. I was nine. Clyde Drexler had the finger roll. Now we're talking about this stuff. And I'm kind of scared for the guys now because look at how deep they're reaching back and saying that you did something 76 years ago and brothers is out here like, what do you, I don't even know this lady. Is she even telling the truth? And the thing is black men that you have to understand, they don't always need to be telling the truth for them to get to the bag and, and, and implement or include you into something that happened 30 something years ago before text messages and cell phones and all that for the most part. What am I saying, Brother O'Shea? What, Brother O'Shea, what are you talking about? A lot of you brothers are gonna have to know how to live low key when you get some money. I've met so many YouTubers and brothers in this business, you know, when they get some money, 
you out here doing the CJ so cool, a lot of chains, uh, nice cars, living in a nice little residence, you're popping bottles. Um, and you don't even know that what you're doing is you're saying, oh, come sue me. Yeah, c please. Yeah, c I'm the one that you need to approach and, 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 and basically ruin my life. I'm the one. This is me. So chicks gonna be like, oh, oh, shoot. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I got that money, baby. Oh, you know what? Let me get close to you, boo. <laughs> Let me get close to you, boo. Let me get close to you so I can also basically ruin your life and say you did something to me 85 years ago. Now, I don't know if Devontae um, did this or not. Now, if it was KC, now we already know that KC uh, it, it, it's problematic, okay? You know, he was beating on Mary J allegedly. But I'm telling you, man, it's too much risk out there. A lot of you brothers out here, and I hate to say this, you're gonna have to get your money and you're gonna have to stay on the low. You're gonna have to be like the richest black billionaire in America, Dave Stewart, okay? Now, why doesn't Dave Stewart hang around any of y'all? Because he know that y'all make the block too hot. That's why Dave Stewart don't want nothing to do with y'all. He knows that once y'all get some money, that you know you gotta get you some gold teeth for the most part and some of those things, so he says, look, I got my money. I'm not fooling with y'all at all. And I'm not filling with no IG models, no booty clappers that I don't know. I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. I can't even deal with y'all like that. I got my money. I'm not trying to lose it. If I got a little silly fantasy, some booty clapping that I want to do, I will just go to paulmolina.com and I will handle myself over at Paul Molina. I don't need to handle myself over here with y'all who we already know y'all looking for some clout. And then once you find out and you get these little groupies that you've been working on your heart, your life to get, and when they start treating y'all like how they're supposed to treat you as a trick, now all of a sudden you're mad. Now you're upset. Man, these girls are users. Man, all they want is your money. What, 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 what brother, what did you think, brother? What, did, what were they supposed to think, brother? Okay, what were they supposed to pre think, brother? Of course they want you for your damn money. Was they supposed to want you for something else? Like, when are you gonna stop, when are you gonna stop playing around in life, brother? When are you gonna, when are you gonna, when are you gonna give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and stop playing around? You guys have to get that money and shut up. You gotta get your uh, uh, assets and go under. I go out of my house every day. I don't even have no money, but I look as dusty as I don't know what. And you know what? I'm, I'm cool. The, the little cheeks I can get, I'm okay with the, the ones I got. Don't need no more. No, y'all wanna get all the cheeks and take pictures. This is what y'all wanna do. You wanna take pictures with gold chains and jewelry you can't afford. And then here come these chicks that don't like your ass. All of a sudden, this is what they're doing. Now, you're, now you wanna fight. I told you black men many years ago to chill off that. But this is the problem. You haven't listened to me. And this is why many of y'all's lives have not grown and developed because you're doing too much out there in these streets. You should have just took the cash that you had and just been all good with it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shirley Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all the discord the bell. We're out.